I'm about to take this thing called the tram. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> We're going to Roosevelt Island, vlog number eight. Incoming! <laughs> I'm like that weirdo with the camera right now. And I am here. Oh my god, that tram ride is actually pretty cool. You can see the people coming out right now and you people boarding. And yeah, I am in Roosevelt Island right now. Ah, excited to explore around. Kind of scared too because it's totally night and pitch black and I have no idea what waits for me in this island. But yes, I am super excited. Um, go on that tram, it's kind of like a roller coaster. I got scared for a bit, which is fantastic because I love being scared. And uh, yeah, let's. Let's explore! <laughs> Dude, this is like so beautiful. Oh my god. Like there was this hill. I, well, first thing I did was when I got here, I went towards the left to try and get towards the, I think, south end of the island. And oh my god, the view is just amazing, man. Lord, that's Manhattan on this side. Just wow. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's like a haunted house, which I'm going to. Well, not a haunted house. I remember reading online that it was like, an, I think it's an insane asylum, abandoned insane asylum. I will not be going in there because I don't want to get haunted. I don't want to get possessed, I mean. And yeah, I don't want to be haunted or anything, but I am going to get close to it. Man, the view is just crazy. And it's like on top of this crazy hill, which I. This beautiful, dark looking hill. And yeah, that's Queens right there. That is the Citibank building. Yes, ah, focus, yes. And that's, uh, yeah, LIC Piers on the other side. Jesus, man. I picked a good day to come to Roosevelt Island. Wow, man. So, I was wrong. It wasn't an insane asylum. It was actually a hospital. A smallpox hospital. Jeez Louise, it is really, really scary. Wow. I would love to go in. <laughs> but no, not trying to. I'm not trying to die early, man. I'm not. Oh my god, I can see my breath. Oh my god, imagine this ghost around. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. I gotta say, one of the most surprising things here is actually the amount of photographers. Like, wow. There are a lot of photographers. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to take pictures here? This bridge is freaking magnificent. The view is crazy. That's cool. You know, I thought it was going to be abandoned and uh, I can't see myself at all. I thought it was going to be like empty, but it's not. So that's good. And I, I feel so much more safer. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. There's actually a passageway of trees right here. It, it's super, super awesome. But yeah, my camera is too dark. You can't pick it up. But gosh, it's the kind of stuff you would see in movies. Just straight ahead. Just trees, trees, trees. Like a great, great passage. So I just came out of this place called the Roosevelt Island Racket Club and it's actually a, a tennis club. I've never been to a tennis club actually. The guy, I went in there and I was like, hey, is it okay if I explore it around? And the guy was actually super cool about it. And yeah, it's just a bunch of people playing tennis. It's like a gigantic, like mini, like, like a gigantic mini stadium and just, it's surprising, you know, it's, uh, the tennis thing wasn't surprising. I mean, the tennis thing was surprising, it was great, it was amazing, but just, the kindness of the guy that worked in there was just, you know, fantastic. I love that. I love it when people are kind, you know, he's just 
just like he said, go in, explore around, because that was like my first time on the island. But um, yeah, I, more of the story is be kind, you know, like trust other people. Like I wasn't gonna go in there and like break shit or anything like that. But I, I'm just, I don't know, it's cool. It's nice, nice to see kindness in others. Uh, that just made my day. So Racket Guy Club, I don't know what your name is, but thank you so much. Um, wow, kind people. Woo. So uh, now I'm in a bus. <laughs> no idea where the bus is going. I just saw a bunch of people hop in it and I decided to be the dumbass that I am and hop in it myself. So uh, let's see where life takes me. <laughs> okay. I've got to admit, what I just did, I don't know if you heard, wasn't the brightest of ideas. I was whispering when I was in the bus, but what I did is I saw a bunch of people getting onto a bus and I said, fuck it. YOLO, I'm gonna jump into that bus and see where it takes me. And apparently I'm close to the other side of the island. That bus is free. There it is again, it's a red bus that says Roosevelt Island on it. I also ended up in a place called the Octagon. It looks like a giant apartment complex. I went in, but then I got a bit too scared because. I don't know, there's like security guards there. But yeah, I like to do crazy stuff like that because, I don't know, um, Drake, my favorite rapper, he has this line that goes, I gotta feel alive even if it kills me. So that was one of those, I gotta feel alive even if it kills me moments. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, things turned out great. Uh, hopefully I live a long life, but uh, that was exciting as hell. Um, and yeah, now we're walking towards what looks like the other end of the island. Ah, yes. Ooh, let's keep this adventure going. And there it is there. The lighthouse. Woo! Made it to the side of the island. Looks cool. <laughs> Bunch of crazy kids out there. I want to go down there, but I'm kind of not trying to get myself in trouble, so. I'm gonna keep my distance for now. <laughs> because they're, <laughs> they're screaming a lot. Oh my god, look at that. That's funny, okay, yeah. God, they look like cool people, I gotta admit. But yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> looks like they're having a good time, but I'm not trying to get my myself in trouble, especially down at night right now, you know, a bad in place. But uh, wow, yeah, the view here is pretty cool. Um, that's Queens, the side was Manhattan. Yeah, and uh, now I'm gonna head the other way around, see where else life takes me. <laughs> so, I think this is gonna be the uh, highlight of my night. I'm recording this as a distraction. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there's some people, uh, yeah, anyway, that was a, a rehab center, and there's some people behind me. <laughs> They're like, it's just two groups of people, no, one group, of, yeah, the group behind me. They're like, <laughs> I don't want to show because that you know that's disrespectful. But they're like behind me, and they're all in wheelchairs, and they're all getting high like in a circle. <laughs> it's a, it's a highlight of the night, yo! Highlight of the night. I thought it was a tram until I see a bunch of people in wheelchairs just passing a blunt around, getting high. The whole area around here smells like weed. <laughs> it's great, great. Only in New York, guys. Only in New York. First things first. Thank God for cell phone light. Ah, yes! I can finally see myself in the dark. I totally forgot about my cell phone. I'm gonna start carrying my LED light from now on. But yes, this day is just getting better and better because I just found a soccer ball. Oh my God, look at it. There it is. And it's in a great soccer field. Check it out. Oh, too dark to see the soccer field. Yes, I'm in the middle of a soccer field and I found a soccer ball. So I'm gonna play a little bit of soccer <laughs> ah, because I am totally Hispanic. Where's the field? Oh, there's the goal. Go both, come on. Let's go, soccer ball. <laughs> Here we go. 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 Put the left. Go. Oh. Nothing but that. Ooh. I definitely have to come back to this place in the daytime. God, it's a beautiful soccer field. Can't see because it it's too dark. The chest, the green pasture, the goal post and my new soccer ball named MLS. No, no, he has a name. What's his name? 
The name is Nativo. Ha! Ah, Nativo. <laughs> Supermarket. <laughs> How interesting. I, I know supermarkets are totally, you know, common. But uh, I don't know. It's just so fascinating. The supermarket. See a supermarket in like some place that seems like totally abandoned. Like there's actually light in this side. Of it. That's great. Ah. Exploring the supermarket. How cool! <laughs> you know, I know I've had too much sugar today, but I think I'm just gonna, yeah, fuck it. Camera test. Totally <laughs> past my sugar limit today. Uh, just eat strawberry chocolate. I haven't tried this strawberry Hagen Dazs thingy, whatever. But yeah, F it. I'm getting hungry. And uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully I don't get diabetes one day. <laughs> but okay, let's buy some freaking ice cream. <laughs> So I have this thing where uh, I think I see things. No, no, I think I see signs. I think I'm just yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, totally. I I have issues. Anyways, the point of this clip, this scene, is that usually when I I see things like certain symbols or certain numbers or animals. I know it's gonna be like, I know the place that I'm at is a good place. One of those symbols is a butterfly. It's, you know, I like butterflies. Butterflies are cool. They're my favorite insect. And lo and behold, a butterfly and a pink butterfly too. Yeah, pink is my favorite color. And yeah, I just came out of the supermarket. The lady who works there was really nice. She says that this, that Roosevelt Island is actually like this, it's like a small town within New York City where everybody seems to know each other and that's so cool. And she says a lot of people here are really friendly and nice. And it's just so surprising. I never thought I'd, I'd find a place like that in New York, like a small little town within New York. I think I will definitely be coming back in the future. Um, but this adventure is not over. I'm gonna go hunt for food now. I saw I saw like a, some cool place on the way here. And a place that looks like that had Hispanic food. And I love Hispanic food. So rice, beans, and chicken, here I come. So this is funny. <laughs> I swear, anywhere you go in New York, you'll always find Chinese food and a liquor store. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so I haven't been able to find the Hispanic food that I was looking for. I think the place closed already. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go home and eat instead. My gut is telling me, go home and eat, because your mom probably cooked something to eat. So. Yeah, I'm gonna head home now. Um, if I find any interesting things on the way, I'll make sure to vlog it. But uh, I'm excited to see what my mom cooked. Hopefully she made something. If not, I am going to starve. <laughs> so yes, finally made it to the F train station. And this is gonna be where my Roosevelt Island adventure ends. About to uh, swipe out. Uh, yeah, Roosevelt Island train station on the F. And um, yeah, it was a great experience. I definitely want to come back. I'm a bit disappointed that, um, damn, I didn't have enough time today uh, to explore as much as I wanted to. Um, damn, uh, and it wasn't because it's because I just I don't know. You know, you know what my problem is sometimes. Sometimes I overthink things. So I was having a, some problems, and you know, uh, in the morning with some friends and just. I don't know, I kept on overthinking and overthinking and that kind of like sat my happiness levels and just my plan was to start like vlogging like at maybe like at 3 after getting a haircut and stuff like that but I didn't leave the house to like you know like almost 6 because I was just sitting around overthinking and moping and it just that sucks man I, it's something I need to work on you know like overthinking is never cool like sometimes I just have to learn to be you know just to just clear my mind Damn, like imagine what I could have explored if I had three more hours of this place. So this vlog might not be as awesome as I wanted it to be, but oh well, I'm still gonna put it out there because I'm not afraid to, you know, just you know make mistakes or admit my flaws or yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. Just in the future, gotta work on it. I gotta be learn to be more professional. If I have trouble, just if I have any problems, just shut them out. And by the way, this is a cool train station. <laughs> it is so awesome. Check it out. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna go home and eat. I told my mom that 
I'm gonna buy some chicken and some beans because she hasn't gotten home from work yet. So that's where life was taking me. Queens, Queens, Queens. That's where I'm heading to. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy some chicken and beans for my family because they're still at work and I haven't eaten yet. They haven't eaten yet. So I think it's good that I'm gonna spend my money on my family instead of you know just spending money on myself so we all get to eat um and we are at the train station and oh oh this is Roosevelt Island oh I've been here before oh now I get it why they call this place oh wow I'm so close to home <gasps> okay cool <gasps> exciting uh yeah uh <coughs> I'm gonna go home and eat now, and uh, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Thank you for joining me on my Roosevelt Island adventure. Um, if you haven't been there before, you should totally go. It is a fantastic place. Make sure to go um, when it's warm, because if it's cold, because it's right next to the water, I'm pretty sure it's gonna suck. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna rant too much. Um, and se les quiere mucho. Bye. Uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hola, if you'd like to watch my previous vlogs, click here. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram to see what else I'm up to and what's on my mind. And last but not least, subscribe. Thanks for watching.